Hi, and welcome back to the e-learning series on BSF BioWaste Processing. In this module of the chapter of BSFL post-processing, we will focus on drying BSF larvae using an oven. After watching this video, you will be able to describe the product quality of oven-dried BSF larvae. You will understand the mass balance of drying BSF larvae using an oven. You can apply the step-by-step -step process of oven drying BSF larvae. You will recognize process control parameters and you can apply procedures for data collection. Finally, you will identify pro and cons for drying BSF larvae using an oven. Static oven drying is a simple but long operation. BSF larvae are placed on oven trays and are then dehydrated over 24 hours. The product looks a bit like flakes and the larvae are very light and have a hard texture. In previous modules you learned about microwave drying or roasting BSF larvae. The product quality, the visual product quality of oven dried larvae looks now very different. They are not crispy and puffed anymore, but rather um, hard and stiff. Even though this visual quality is very different, the nutritional composition of the dried larvae is similar. The dried larvae consist mainly of protein and fat, each account for around 30 to 40 percent. And in smaller amounts, you have fibers, ash, and carbohydrates. Dried larvae have a low moisture content of around 3 percent and the water activity of around 0 0.4. Therefore, oven dried larvae become storable and have a shelf life of around 5 to 6 months if stored in a moisture tight package. A water activity below 0.4 can prevent any bacteria or molds from growing. Now we quickly come back to the mass balance as already introduced in the introduction video. Now you see the detailed mass balance for just oven drying BSF larvae using a static oven. The oven we use here in this video uses LGP gas as a heating source and water is slowly evaporating. So steam leaves the system. A total of 30 kg can be added at one go and they will dry in around 24 hours at 65 degrees Celsius. The mass reduction is, as you already um, should know, around 70% and this reduces the, the water amount in the larvae and concentrates the protein. In this video, we use a static oven with a thermostat. To operate the oven, you also need a LGP gas, a gas stove and a gas connector pipe. We recommend using mesh trays. The mesh helps to improve the air circulation inside the oven compared to trays without any mesh. Finally, you also need a bulk scale, oven gloves and a storage container. Connect the gas gallon to the stove and start heating the oven by turning on the stove. Set the thermostat at 65 degrees. Add 3 kg of sanitized larvae to each of the 10 mesh trays. Then insert the trays in the oven and start to dry the larvae for a first and long night phase of 16 hours. In the morning, shuffle the trays and dry the larvae for another 4 hours. Around lunchtime, shuffle the trays again and dry the larvae again for another 4 hours. In a simple gas heated oven, as shown in this video, air circulation in the oven might be not enough to ensure even heat distribution. Here you see a proposed shuffling schedule, um, how you can ensure that all the larvae are evenly dried after these 24 hours. So after 24 hours drying, the larvae should be dry and then check the following indicators. Are the larvae hard and do they have a dry texture? And are the larvae flat and do they have a stiff and shrunken shape? If these indicators are true, you can remove the dried larvae from the oven and then weigh the dried larvae and note the weight down in the log sheet. Then store the larvae in a storage container and label the container with the production date. To record your activity, fill in this log sheet. 
First, always fill in the date code and the of the harvested larvae, as well as the larval weight. Always note down the weight of each batch of larvae going in the oven and of each batch coming out of the oven. Also note down the total drying time. In the end of the day, sum up the total mass in and out. These two numbers are needed to calculate the yield, which is a process control parameter. In your Excel spreadsheet, you can then calculate the yield, which is the total mass out divided by the total mass in times 100. The yield should be between 25 and 35%. Higher yields indicate that the larvae are not yet completely dry. Lower yields may indicate that you lost some material. Benefits of this method are the low labor, space and investment required and the simple and passive operation. Downsides are the less attractive product quality, so this product cannot be marketed as the famous poplarvi. And another negative aspect are the long drying time times. Now we are already almost at the end of this module on oven drying BSF larvae. To check up on your knowledge about this operation, we have two questions. Question number one. Your oven has not a good air circulation system. What can you do to improve your drying process? It can help to shuffle the trays several times during the drying process. For example, once after 16 hours, after the night, and once again after um, four hours. Question number two. You set the temperature accidentally at 120 degrees Celsius. What are the consequences? Your larvae will become darker and are likely to be baked or burned. For long drying times, we recommend a maximal temperature of 65 degrees Celsius. Now we are already at the end of this module. We saw that oven dried larvae are dark, stiff and flat. To avoid burning and nutrient losses of the BSF larvae, the larvae are dried at 65 degrees. Oven drying is a simple and passive process and less labor intensive. Thank you for watching this module, part of the e-learning video series on BSF bio-waste processing. More information can be found in the BSF step-by-step -step guide, which you can download through the QR code here. Both of these materials were part of the forward project by EWAC in collaboration with the Ministry of Public Works in Indonesia and funded by SECO, the Swiss State Secretariat for Economic Affairs.